Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey. Good morning, everyone. I am just getting ready to leave my house to go to the, um, well, the really full house <laughs> that I've been working on for the past few episodes. Uh, but first, this morning, I'm going to the bank. In the last, uh, I think in episode two, you saw me find a whole bunch of uh, coins in containers. And a lot of people were asking, well, how much? I, you know, what did it end up being? Well, look at this. This is the mass amount of rolls that I was able to put together out of all the coins. In total, $600 in loose change <laughs> and that's going straight in the bank um, so so far as of today we've got our um, ten thousand dollars back our initial investment back on selling the clothes uh, and we're up 600 that said the cost of the dumpster is about 500 bucks um, so we need to do more than make a hundred dollars off of this whole deal so i have a lot more work ahead of me but the house is still very full um, so we're going to start uh, getting some of the garbage out of the house today I'm going to start hopefully clearing some of the items to the uh, living room area that are sellable and uh, just see what else we can find. So follow along on another adventure while we dig through the house and look for buried treasure. Well, it's another day in the house. My goal is to try and get this room cleaned up a bit more than it is. I've got some books in the corner I have to go and I'm hoping that Hans will be able to remove the old carpeting out of here and we can sweep up and make this a little bit nicer. We're going to donate that chair, that couch. To charity it's in good shape i wonder if that's why they call it chair itty anyway it's going to charity um and so is that little side chair i think that the other items in here like the marble tables and that i'll be able to sell um but i want to get these big pieces out of the way so i'm going to start bagging up or boxing up some books that uh, might have some potential resale value for me at the shop and uh first task i think i'll give them is to uh, get the carpets out of this room and get these things off to uh to donate and give us a bit of space. So I'm going to start loading books up. And the reason why I'm keeping some of this stuff, uh, well, this first one, some of you at home actually saw Secrets of the Earth. It's a good photography book. In fact, I think when the relative of the writer of that book was on, they're like, that's a $50 book. Don't throw it out or don't eat it. No, don't worry, I'm not. I'm going to keep it. Um, but there's, you know, some interesting sort of books, you know. Um, you know, Principles of Log Measurements. That's the kind of crazy thing somebody's going to want because, well, what if you want to build your own log cabin, I guess? You probably need something like that. So there's a few things in here um, that I think we'll be able to salvage for our shop. And uh, some of the rest of it will go to uh, donation. Heard that Hans is on his way. I'm going to try and get this up sort of out of the way. It's actually nice solid wood. It's just not a style that... Many folks are really after right now. Let's see what was under the couch. A bunch of Sears catalogs, a dime, because you always need a dime, some shoes. Huh. Hey, there's the famous Alex. <laughs> hey, Hans. Uh, doing good yourself? Uh, well, I'm good. Right. So, is it just you or is Zenobia with you no, too? Zenobia is outside. Oh, here's Zenobia. The so, uh, thanks for coming out today. Always our pleasure. We have uh, all these bags here. That this belongs to another guy. This is clothing. Uh, what I have a, a couple jobs for you. If you guys are up to it. The first job is this room needs to be cleaned up. Um, this chair, this couch. And that chair can go to charity. Um, and then I'm hoping you can get the, the old rugs out of here into the dumpster and just kind of generally sweep up as the first task of the day. If you guys are up for it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you guys are dressing alike now. You become one of those couples that dresses alike. Yo, you almost... <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's like, you know, if you didn't have your mask on, you'd have the whole Santa Claus thing going on there. Yep. So uh, you guys been good? Yeah. Been good. Keeping busy? Yeah. More or less. Well, you're going to be busy today. If you weren't feeling busy before, there's a lot to do around here. But first order would be probably the chairs in the back of the truck to, so they can go to charity at some point today. Yeah. 
carpets out, and just a good general sweep and clean if you guys are up for it. Yep. I'm going to be sorting and throwing garbage out upstairs. Um, there's a dumpster out there if you need to throw a ball for the carpet and that. Okay. But otherwise, uh, you guys ready for it? You bet. Okay, let's get to it. Okay. Do you need a hand getting it out? Might have to put the back out first and then tip it. I'm thinking you're probably right. Usually you put the back end out. Here, I'll come hand it. I'll give you a hand. With the chairs out of the way, I can start to see floor in the front. I'm going to start uh, just kind of poking around and making sure we didn't miss anything cool in here. Maybe see little gift bags like this hidden behind corners. You never know what's in it. That one's empty. But you never know. Actually, this has a little cupboard door that opens up on it. It's empty. Hmm. Bound to find something. I just feel it in the air today. For those of you who don't kind of understand my process, because I have been poking around the house, um, step one is coming up with a plan. And that was that this room needed to be emptied out to make it as a staging area. But I have lots of people helping me um, and we need to have room to walk. So getting the clothes out of the way is a priority. And that'll get rid of, I don't know, 65% of the problem in this house once the clothes are gone. Um, so we've been kind of moving around the house and uh, looking for little treasures and, and make the deal to get the clothes removed. Um, so that is taken away from my overall plan. Um, so the next step here is get some of the garbage out. We've got the dump bin outside. Um, Hans and Zenobi have come to help me with the cleanup and we're gonna get stuff that I've identified as actual trash. Then after that will be things that can go to charity. And after we get through that, it's things I can possibly sell. So it's kind of a multi-step process to make this happen, but trust me folks, it's all gonna work out in the end. Just wait. I'm gonna try and tackle the upstairs washroom here. Which is somewhat functioning. Um, I'm curious to see what's in all these little corners here. I don't know if you can see just how piled it up it, it is in here. Uh, I'm gonna bag up a bunch of clothes for Mark. That'll give me some space in here. So I'm gonna bag all this stuff and get it out. And maybe I can get this door to open and close properly. Like. Everything is just, it's just insane amount of stuff, you know, but hope I'll buy myself some room here. Lots of vintage fabrics. I mean, the thing is the stuff in this house goes back to the 1930s or so, but you have to dig to get to the old stuff. And there's uh, interesting pieces kind of all mixed in with just generic stuff. You know, so like this looks like a substantially older dress. I know this style was popular in the eighties as well, but that's more of a vintage style. I don't see any label on the inside of it, but so we'll bag it all for him. Give myself a little bit of room in here. And the hangers it's on are pretty old. What does it say? Oh, Sheridan Hotels and Motor Inns. Worldwide service. It's a pretty old Sheridan hanger this thing was sitting on. Kind of cool. Bathroom update. So far I have removed five big bags of clothing out of here. And I saw this to go. Some funky stuff like these Spanish made ladies cowboy boots in kind of a teal color. Size five, have to have small feet for that. But uh, there's some other shoes down there, and I don't know, boy, there's, I still don't have floor near my feet, so I'm going to keep working at it, uh, and then I'm hoping to go through some of these boxes and see exactly what we have in there. Lots of nail polish and stuff. Who knows? She must have liked these cowboy boots, because she bought them in both colors. Maybe it's the blue and the tan. Wait a minute. Something in there. Hopefully it's not just an empty box. Oh no, there's jewelry in there. Looks like a little silver and amethyst, maybe ring set. Score! That'll be a top pocket find. I wonder if there's any others down here. Oh, empty tin. Okay, well maybe there is some jewelry in here after all. Hey, just about got these baskets cleaned off. 
And there's a lot of this stuff that can't be saved because it's just basic like used lipstick and stuff like that. That I'm sure it was expensive when it was new, if it was Chanel or whatever, but I'm not going to save it. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I got gold, folks. Some gold chains, some rings. A little bag of gold. Digging for gold. <laughs> and I found some. Now, my mom isn't going to like hearing me say this, but it's almost like being in an alternate dimension of my mom's house. There's a dream interpretation book, sort of thing my mom might have. And opium perfume, my mom's favorite perfume. <laughs> Good thing I got a mask on. This is like being in another dimension here if, if things went really wrong with my mom. Kind of makes me feel sad, actually. But uh, we'll try and recycle, reuse... You know, all that good stuff as much as we can and try and find good homes for this, but... Oh, uh, so strange. It's a book. Nothing inside of it. Well, if you need a physics book when you're sitting on the commode, you need more fiber in your diet. They come in drinking candy. Hans is back. He said uh, the first place didn't want the couch, so he had to find another one. And now he's rolling up the rug. You're supposed to roll out the red carpet, but not roll it up, but... Well, this is a different job. <laughs> In this case, we're happy to roll up the carpet. It already feels cleaner just with that first layer of rug, but there's two layers of carpeting on top of the hardwood. Wow. Yeah. Which makes me think the hardwood's not going to be in that bad of shape underneath all this. And help turn that over. They're getting ready to pull the carpet up. But we forgot a box cutter. I'm going to see if there's a knife in the, the old kitchen cabinet here that they can use. If there's like a steak knife or something. That might work. I'll take them a couple and see. One of these ought to do it. I think I found a knife you could use for uh, cutting carpet with. I think one of these ought to work. Hopefully, maybe. Hopefully, maybe. It looks like it's working. Why are you, uh, people might be asking, why are we taking it down to hardwood? Well, it's really gross, this carpet. And uh, we'll get down to the hardwood as best we can because then we can sweep it and keep it clean. And I need a clean, safe area. Eventually my kids might want to come help me sort in here. And uh, much easier to maintain hardwood than it is old gross carpeting. Looks like we got some nice hardwood floors. Like, they're still shiny, these five layers of carpeting. Have stayed. Yeah, it looks like it's still glossy and everything, too. Yeah. Like, the wax is still on it from yeah. 40, 50 years ago. Well, I'm sure the homeowner is going to be happy that we're improving the value of this property so much. I can't get over how nice the hardwood is in this room. And you were saying, yeah, there's... Like nice inlay around the fireplace. Nice I mean, it was never an actual fireplace. It's just a ornate fireplace. We have the insert for it over there, which we'll put back after the carpet's out. But it's feeling so much better in here already, just with this bit of stuff out. There's nothing wrong with this floor at all. No, this floor doesn't even need refinishing. No, it just needs to be washed up and waxed again. Yeah, fresh paint on the walls. Yeah, yeah. And oh, uh, whoever does your painting. <laughs> You better be watching because you don't want them to get anything on this floor. No, they'd have to lay down some yeah. tarps and stuff, but... Oh, yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Well, it's coming along. Hans has one little chunk of carpet left in here, and then we can start uh, organizing in this room, which is good. Exactly what I wanted. So next step, we're starting to pile all of Mark's clothing in the now cleaned out part of the living room. That'll give us space to work with the other rooms and start clearing that stuff out, too. It's just going as planned was cleaning out this cabinet. We got all the linen out of it, which we're going to donate to charity. And look, I found a little stack of cash kind of from all over the world. And judging by that $2 Canadian bill, which we haven't used in ages, this stuff's been here for a little while. So maybe not a whole lot of money, but cash is cash. The upstairs had a blue bulb. I've replaced it with the original and I found the shade. So I'm actually going to reattach that, get that back in place just as it should be. Pond is carrying bags of clothing downstairs. So Novia is sorting the pile of fabric. Is that like a French's? That's a French's, uh, it's a patch. Like off a 
yeah. container like salad dressing or something. Yeah, but it's it, it's a patch. Oh, it's fabric. Oh, that's yeah. kind of cool. And there's. <laughs> hey, that's kind of cool. So maybe set that one aside okay. for me. That's kind of neat. I bet you this is a jacket that goes with it. Very kind of 60s, trying to be pop art sort of pants. It's kind of neat. Um, there's an awful lot of fabric in here. An awful lot. But you can see there's like a little coffee pot with a hot plate. Like somebody spent some time up here. You can barely see the bed. Um, we did manage oh, to clean out. Yeah, there's a bed right next to you. Oh my gosh. See, this whole time you're sitting there, you didn't even know there's a bed next to you. That's like the foot of the bed that you're at. Okay. <laughs> so we've cleared out the desk and stuff that was here and I can actually walk with ease through the upstairs hallway. This is as far as I got with this upstairs bathroom. Remember how full that was? And while I was in here, see I got all the stuff up from the corner. I can walk in here. We found some loose change. Gross. I got his uh, sink kind of working. Should have seen the sludge that came out of there. That one's still kind of stuck. That one's still really stiff. And I plunged the sink and it's actually draining now. So there's a working sink upstairs. How's she going, Hans? Good. Are you bringing a chair for your lady? Yeah, she said she needs to have a sit down. Yeah, well, you guys can take a break anytime, too. Crack the whip out. Crack the whip. Uh. We're here to work. Okay, well, I am uh, going through the bedroom. You can see I've made some progress. Now, Alex, what did you say that's, about this one? He wants it because that's well, I don't want the jacket, no, just the pants. Just the, pants? Okay. Just the uh, I don't want the jacket. Oh, weird. That's a weird set. Uh, maybe we'll see if he wants it. I don't know. That's a pretty funky looking that's set a, there. Yeah, but it was it's like tuxedo tails in green. I wonder if the Joker lived here. Hey, he is here. <laughs> 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 okay, maybe you just hang that up. Or, well, here, I'll take that from you. I'll hang it on the door or something. That's a pretty weird set. It's like a green tuxedo length jacket. It has tails. It has these weird pants with patches all over them. That's got to be like super funky mod kind of. Who knows? I can actually walk in here now, which is better than before. This floor at my feet and I was digging around over in this area and I think that's like a I think that might be a no I thought it was a typewriter I guess not kind of a funky bag though isn't it well this is definitely getting to the psychedelic kind of stuff now that's pretty cool oh yeah there's the matching shoes and footwear down there there's a chair probably used to go with that little sewing machine it's a nice little sewing machine actually all the spools of fabric this 1960s fabric well maybe a little bit newer there's mickey mouse there but there's some older stuff there too whole renfrew through bags now that i'm able to walk around in here you can kind of get an idea that well there's a lot of empty jewelry boxes but where there's empty jewelry, empty jewelry boxes, there might be one that's full. I got a lot of costume jewelry out of, out of here once already. Tons of bottles of unused perfume. I'm just going to continue working my way through and see what I can get. I mean, there's a nice little table over there. I'll clear it out as much as I can. What's weird about digging around in here is that on occasion, you see a bunch of generic stuff, and then you see a box that clearly had some expensive Burberry jewelry in it. Or Tiffany boxes. I found several Tiffany boxes. Nothing in it. So the question is, where's all the high-end jewelry at? Certainly not finding much of it right now. But I am working my way towards the corner. Maybe we'll strike gold. Hey, I got the clothes off of the clothing rack more or less. To get down to that one. <sighs> Snakeskin suitcase. Doesn't feel like there's anything in it though. I'll open it up later. Tiffany and Company, Chanel. Good things come in small boxes. Question is, is there anything in this box? Maybe nothing. Well, but that means that some of this clothing is Chanel that's in here. And I'm sure Mark's gonna be happy to find that. 
and see what was in here. Sometimes there's a receipt. Oh, they always give you free perfume when you buy stuff too. Check the Tiffany bag. Got a box. And the box is really light with another box. It's like a nesting Ukrainian Easter egg of boxes. Nothing. Somewhere there's some good jewelry hiding. Where are you? It occurs to me that some of these purses that are down here might be Chanel purses. I looked at this one. Arnold Sugar something handmade in Italy. And she's put the matching shoes inside. So that's what she thought would make a nice outfit. Little baggies here. They're open. And is it costume jewelry? Is it actual gold? 10 carat. Found a bunch of gold rings. Look at that. Well, that helps uh, pay for the day right there. And every single one of these is full. No, oh, that's brooches. Necklace boxes. Maybe I'm going to put these somewhere safe. That's a, that's a pretty good find. The guys on Oak Island would be spinning around in their graves right now if they saw what I found. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah. I just found a little bag full of gold rings. Good yeah, score. it's like a bag, little. Well, it's not a big bag, but it's a little bag. But it's still a good score. It's still a bag of gold. I'm not going to complain. I was starting to think that the Chanel bags and the empty Tiffany bags were just a decoy, so that you'd grab the bag and run if somebody ever found their way in here to break in, uh, and then the actual stuff was hidden underneath a layer of purses. So I'll take it home and we'll look through. But I'm pretty sure I got some good stuff. Um, I'm in the other bedroom right now. Somewhere back there is Zenobia behind me. We are sorting through tons and tons of fabric. And uh, I'm trying to get to the dresser drawer in front of me here to see if there's anything cool in the, in the side. Um, it's, it's like archaeology. You know, you get down to the layers. There might be a dinosaur body down here. <laughs> Who knows? There's Hans. He's the workhorse here today. You know, I think Alex said, old man, work hard. I didn't say that. I said, take a break. I, the truth is, I said, Hans, take a break. And he said, the bin's not full yet. So he's the one, he's pushing himself here. I would just like to make enough room for you. Oh, hang on. I found records. Don Gibson, Buddy Holly and the Crickets. Johnny Rivers, John Denver. Kind of a variety. Woodstock, that's a good album. Oh, that's a good album. Yeah, I don't need the hangers. Oh, we can donate them or whatever. No. Let's see what's in the bottom drawer. Uh, it looks like garbage. Random 90s Pro Set hockey card. Oh, some stamps. Some old stamps. Oh, there's a bunch of stamp sets, actually. Look, there's a whole stamp collection in here. Yeah, it was a stamp collection. Stamped envelopes. Okay, maybe this was a collector drawer. Oh, hang on. I found a bag. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. It feels heavy. I found a heavy bag. And it was in with a bunch of stamps and collectibles. Um, well, let's change. More change. I mean, maybe some of that's silver. Some of it is silver. That's a uh, 1912 quarter, Canadian quarter. So I found a bag of old currency. It's pretty heavy too. Oh, look, there's another one. Silver coins. I'm gonna need a loop bag to put this stuff in. Okay. I took the drawer out where all these records were. I found a honey hole of money down here. It just basically changed, but a lot of it's silver. Old silver quarters and dimes and Things like that. In fact, somebody probably wants a little bunny tin too, but I'll come back to that. What else is down here? Anything in there? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, the animals. These are good records down here too. A couple of comic books. 
Grimm's ghost stories. Yeah, the comics are, I mean, the comics and the records are okay. So I wonder what's buried underneath all that. Yeah, that was just uh, the bottom drawer. I'm sure there's nothing in the envelope. Nope. Just paperwork. Let's see what's in drawer number two. Drawer number one was pretty good. Some political pins. Life magazines, old newspapers. You okay over there, Hans? Oh, yeah. No, I don't think that's mine. Oh, maybe it's mine. Oh, yeah, there you go. You be the masked bandit now. <laughs> that's a good look. There might be some fun pins in there. Take those out. Hans and Zenobia are calling it a night. Hey, I like your t-shirt, by the way. Hey, <laughs> that's the guy I like to try to help out when I can. Well, yeah, you're actually helping me out by moving garbage. Let's just show the folks how much garbage we filled up today. I say we, I maybe filled a quarter of it, but Hans was a busy boy. He filled up almost that whole thing. So it's getting emptied tomorrow. And then they're gonna bring it a fresh one, a fresh dump bin. And uh, then we'll do this all over again, probably in a couple of days, if you guys are up for it. Yeah, we, that sounds perfect. Okay, well, thank you very much for all your help, guys. Hey, we love helping you. You're a good friend. I mean, you know, anytime. Well, I appreciate you guys too. So it's so much improved in here. This is the pile we've made of just clothing from the upstairs. That is like a cube van almost full of clothing bags. And we haven't even touched the basement yet. And the basement's where we thought all the clothing actually was. So if he can, uh, I'm waiting for Mark to come. Mark's still coming tonight. And if he can get all those clothes out of there, well, I might have a living room again. We'll just fill it all up all over again. So thanks again, guys. Yeah, no problem. Well, I think he's got a load. Oh yeah, he's got a load all right. <laughs> We've been working for a little bit now. Mark is here upstairs truck should be on its way soon and I can't wait because this living room is now completely piled like look at the mass amount of clothing we're not even done with the upstairs yet that basically just came out of the one bedroom in the hallway um so still lots of work to do I'm going to show the guys the downstairs to give them sort of an idea of what they're in for Mark has seen it but his helpers sure haven't I came back to the bathroom because everybody said, oh, the Chanel powder, and it is, it's Chanel number no. five powder. That is what it is, but it's chipped and broken and damaged. It's full of powder though, but I don't know if you'd want to use that looking like that. Um, found this really cool looking vintage soap, still in the package, never touched. Oh, and I found Paul. <laughs> Rock and roll Paul is back. Um, it looks like it's snowing and so dusty in here. It's 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 the snow of the- uh, It's all this. Of, uh, uh, what are we doing here? I know. Uh, success. Well, I don't know about success. I thought I'd be, I thought I would try and get the sink going, but the only thing happening here is black sludge coming up out of it. We got the upstairs bathroom kind of working. Let's see if I keep going. It's like, yeah, no, I don't know if that's going to happen. It's just getting chunkier and chunkier. I think I'm gonna give up on it's it. It's like soup. Uh, no. Yeah, bubbly, I will never look at soup bubbly, the same way. Bubbly soup. Soup was one of my favorite things until this now, now that you mention that. <laughs> mm. You were hungry, but now, it's, now your hunger has subsided. Uh, I think I'm gonna move on to brighter horizons. <laughs> I brought Paul into my bedroom uh, to help me clear out under the bed. We're gonna look and see if there's anything underneath here. Uh, but you were saying like even that little rack is pretty good, hey? Even these little racks, this is definitely like a mid-century piece. Uh, online, these sell for, you know, anywhere from $20, $50, $70, depending on, you know, depending on the design and, and how intricate they are. And this, that one's in pretty good shape, too. And this one's in great shape, you know. There's like, a it's plant stand. It's still gold, it's not bent, you know. It's yeah. Really, it's really great. Which is surprising, considering yeah. it was underneath all this stuff. A lot of these were, a lot of these people painted them black, you know. But, uh, so when you find one that's still all nice and gold and shiny and not, not rusted and broken and mangled, definitely something it it's is cool great, it kind of has an art deco stand. look yeah, almost it's a great little stand okay so we're gonna we're gonna clear off this bed and then we're gonna see what's underneath here 
because um, you think you'd stash your good stuff under the bed, and I found some silver and stuff over in that dresser, so we'll see. Okay, well, let's see what's under the bed. Alley-oop. Whoa! It's like shoe town under there. This it, it gave Look me this. This dumbbell. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> it was like you know in Ratatouille when all the rats come out of the ceiling, except with shoes. That's Whoa. what this is like. That's a lot of shoes. Okay, well maybe we should grab a. Oh, hang on, this. Oh, I I saw gold over there. I'm like, look, this gold. It's a coffee crisp wrapper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chocolate bar wrapper. Okay. Well, we can bag some of this stuff up for for Mark if he wants it. I don't know if he does or not. Look at and see if there's any little uh, false books. There's a loony. Yeah. Smart. Sometimes books aren't books. Oh, thanks. I'm holding him. I can't take it from you. I'm holding a mattress. <laughs> I am the one who's saving your life right yeah. now. Let me put that down to grab that dollar coin from you. There's another That's one. Then that'd be like a comedy team. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. So let's just throw this thing out of the way. This is, uh... Okay. You'd think your good stuff would be under the bed by by your bed. Garbage. This is actually kind of gross. Admittedly. Surprisingly, no mice ran out at me. Papers, patterns. They had enough fabric to make those things. Another shoe. Okay. A little careful when you grab some of the fabric. Oh yeah, yeah, I've had that before. <laughs> hey. I found your phone. <laughs> it probably dropped back there and they're like, well, that phone is dead to me now. I will never wow. find it again. It's hot lava. It's hot Wait. Lava. Oh, I got some silver dollars. There you go. I knew next to the bed, always next to the bed. There's another jar here. What's inside? More money. Well, I'm striking it rich over here. Look at all the shoes. Look at the crazy amount of shoes. Fred Smith's organizer. Huh. Okay. Yeah, no Spider-Man number one though. There's some good brogues in here. Well, I mean, they would have been. Those little alabaster kind of glass dishes. There's a lot of shoes here. I mean, I know I've said that a few times, but my goodness. But they're all leather sold. Bally. My dad used to wear Bally. Those almost look like old police shoes. Oh, army boots. Yeah, army boots. Yeah, that's your parade boot. People buy those, right? Yep. Oh, I see a little Bally. You got a lot, but people still buy them. Like you'll never wear it out. Huh? Okay, well, no other jars of money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's still lots of corners to. Uh... There's a pile of records under there. Yeah, there's some good ones too. Tina Turner. Yeah. I can Tina. Oddly. Well, not oddly. But uh, let's check this side. Oh, I'm digging through the garbage. Looking for some treasure. Patterns, patterns. Okay, well, I think this might be a couple good scores though. Whole bunch of money in the roll. Oh, maybe something in there. Some change? Yeah. Okay. Old American. We'll add it to this. We found a camera too, an old uh, Sahi Pentax Spotmatic. Nice this piece. Thing is like a solid chunk of brass, so I guess if somebody tries to steal it and you think they're going to get it, you can always hit them with it. Yeah, true. <laughs> and then uh, the camera itself cleaned up and working is about a $100 camera, so that's a good find. So this is happening right now. We've got a crew of guys loading up all the clothing from this massive pile here. Doing sort of a fire bucket brigade. brigade getting it loaded up. Uh, there's still a pile more inside the house, too. Oh, if I can make my way up the steps without slipping. 
So that is a small dent compared to what still has to go. There's all these boxes here and all this stuff still in the living room. Uh, but at least there's a truck here to take care of it and I'll be happy when this is all emptied out today. The guys have filled their truck. It's dark outside. We're all pretty beat and tired from today, especially myself, it's been a long day. But the front room is getting there. Still have all the stuff on the side that has to go, but some real good progress and some great finds today. So we're gonna keep working through. We haven't even got to the basement yet or the side room where the organ was. There's so many cool rooms yet to check out. Today was just another sampling of a great adventure. So stay tuned for more. Subscribe because you gotta watch the rest of this series and see how this place turns out. We're already making good progress and it's looking fantastic. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see y'all soon and bye for now.